this is the second video lesson in the year seven game design unit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look to see how we can program some scoring items in our game. But before we do that, let's just remind ourselves of a few skills we looked at last lesson. Now here we've got four sort of um, script blocks, if you like, or, or groups of blocks. Um, now the first one uh, over here, this, these are the scripts that we need if we want to move a character up, down, left and right with the arrow keys. So just to remind you, in a forever loop, we're constantly checking to see if the right arrow key is pressed. If it is, then we get our character to point in the direction of right and move 10 steps. And exactly the same for if, if we hit the left arrow key, except that the direction is minus 90, so it points to the left. And if we hit the down arrow, it points down and moves 10 steps. And if we do the up arrow, it points up in the up direction and moves 10 steps. So that is just key controlled movement scripts. Over here, we've got um, a couple of glide scripts inside a forever loop. If you remember from last lesson, that allows us to automatically move objects gliding from one location to another um, on the screen um, over and over again. And remember, we're using coordinates, X and Y coordinates. So on our scratch stage in the background, there's an invisible coordinates grid with zero, zero being in the middle. And then we can use the coordinates to position our um, objects in different places. Script three, this is if we want our character to go to a certain location when we start the game. Uh, so in this case, it would go to minus 100, minus 100, which is in the uh, fairly down bottom left um, of the screen. And then um, script number four is what would happen if it touches another object. So if our main character touched sprite two at any time, then it would go back to perhaps the, the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So let's just, um, have a go at doing a few things, building up um, a, a bit of movement, a few movement scripts um, in Scratch just to remind ourselves from last week. So we've got our cat here. So if we wanted to control the cat with our keys, remember we use a forever loop. Inside our forever loop we use an if statement and we say if at any time a particular key is being pressed, so for example the left or let's say up arrow key is pressed then we're going to get our cat to uh, point in direction up so zero degrees and move 10 steps we are going to duplicate that and we're going to make the cat move down if we hit the down arrow key we're going to duplicate that one and we'll do our left or our righty I should say we'll make him point to the right and move 10 steps and if I hit the left arrow key I get my cat to point to the left and move 10 steps okay so click the green flag let's test that definitely moving um, to the right up left and down so that's fine what I will do is I'll probably just keep him on his feet this time so I can go to direction and this middle button just make sure that he's always facing uh, always staying on his feet so that's quite handy and also I could change the size and make him a little bit smaller maybe 50 there we go so I've got a little bit more movement around the screen okay so let's have a little look to see how we can create some scoring items so what we need to do is we need to create a scorecard first of all so to create a scorecard if we're going to produce scoring items we want to keep tally of the score that we get we're going to go and create a variable now a variable remember is just a, um, a, a a memory location that stores a bit of data um, but you can think of it as a box with a name on it and different items go in can go in that box at different times so we're going to go to variables we're going to make a variable going to give it the name perhaps scorecard make sure it's for all sprites click ok and what we'll do is we'll see a scorecard come up at the top of the screen so if I go to variables and I make a variable and I call it scorecard for all sprites click on OK and my scorecard um, comes up at the top of the screen next I need to create a scoring item so to do that I paint a sprite in this case it's a little coin and it should then appear on the screen so let's create a score uh, create a scoring item a coin for example so I'm going to go 
to the paintbrush I'm going to get the fill color of yellow and I'm going to get the circle and I'm going to draw a little circle there I'm going to go back to the paintbrush let's go down to choose black and let's put a little number one like so so I've now got my scoring item that I'm going to hopefully try and collect. Now what I need to do is I need to program the scoring item so that I can have some points each time the main character touches that particular coin or picks it up for example. So to do that I'm going to use the following script. Now how it works, when we click the green flag we're going to make the scoring item appear so that's why I've got this show script down here and then it's going to forever check to see if it's touched by the main character so this scoring item this coin has got the code to check to see if it's ever touched by sprite one which is in this case the cat now if it is touched by the cat two things are going to happen over and over again when i say over and over again i mean each time it's touched by the cat the scorecard is going to go up by one so we're going to change the scorecard by one and we're going to hide the coin so let's see if that works so I'm going to go to the coin, I'm going to click on code and I'm going to get a little when green flag clicked I'm going to make sure that the coin shows. I will need a hide in a minute so I'll just get that one out. And then I'm going to forever check if the coin is touched by sprite 1 which is the cat. If it's touched by sprite 1, I want the coin to hide and I want to change the score, not my variable, but the scorecard to 1. Let's make sure we can read that one OK. So let's click on the green flag and see if it works. I'm moving around. I touch the coin, the coin disappears and the scorecard goes up by 1. If I click on the red flag and I click on the green flag again, it happens again. But notice that the scorecard is now on two. There's only one coin. It should really only go up to one. So what's happening is that it's not resetting each time I press on the um, green flag. Now to do that, one little addition is that we can make sure, actually let's do it separately. When the green flag is clicked, let's make sure that the scorecard is set back to zero. So click on the green flag, scorecard is zero, then it becomes one when I touch the coin. Now one little thing that we could do just to make this a bit more interesting is we could add one more little bit of code into our if touching sprite one um, script. We could actually get the coin to go to a random location. So if I was to go to the motions, I could go go to random position. And I could use that instead of hide. So now what happens is I can go around, I can collect that coin and then it moves to another random location and so on and so forth. So there's a fun little game. See how quickly you can get up to 20 points, for example. OK, have a go for yourself, see if you can create a scoring item and perhaps add the go to random position script to turn it into a little game.